Social media in the last couple days has been going crazy over a supposed glitch that's been happening with Chase Bank. So over the weekend, there was a bunch of viral TikTok and Twitter videos that got millions of views. And in these videos, people were stating that you can get free cash from Chase Bank ATMs, or at least so they thought. This right now, like they letting people get 40, 50,000 right now. Next day, you want to do your chase? I will. Man, they got a, they have a glitch right now with Chase. Oh no, you're not gonna mess up my bank account. Uh uh. It's not gonna close no, it. Thank you, man. It's a glitch. It's not gonna uh, close it. No, thank you, baby. Man, you don't want to get no money. <laughs> But pretty much this glitch was consisting of depositing fake checks for large amounts of money and then removing the money available before the fraudulent check cleared. So literally people would write like a $20,000 check or even up to $90,000 for what I personally seen so far and then just take that money out as soon as possible before Chase Bank realized the check was fake. But the craziest thing to me is how in the world do you expect to get away with this? Like this is literally check fraud. It's not a hack. It's not a glitch. This is just simply fraud and it's very, very illegal. And Loki, you could face up to 20 years in prison for doing something like this. And I need you and I miss you any kind of money that ever comes fast will usually leave fast so that's why for me personally i never entertain or choose to value fast money because if it sounds too good to be true the more than likely it is or there's just some crazy consequence that comes with it and the sad thing is if you guys look at this picture there was literally lines at chase bank for people to do this and the majority of people in this picture have their hoodies on so that way their face is not shown but that doesn't matter because the bank literally has all your information already they literally have your social security number your address phone number date of birth etc jp morgan does not play with their money Anybody and everybody that participated in this sensation are now facing the consequences of having a significant negative account balance and their account is on hold too. There's actually a few videos out there of people regretting what they did because now they just simply don't know what to do and honestly I would feel the same if I was them. Man, they really told me to tap in. Next day I was supposed to clear and look at my account, yo. Bro, what the? What is my life? Why do I have 11,000 missing from my bank account? Now, some of the videos that you guys see on the internet might be fake, and some people just might want some clout or notoriety from this viral sensation. But I do believe some people are actually telling the truth because there's this one guy in particular that deposited fake checks, and now he has a negative account balance. And this guy literally started a GoFundMe. Um, as some of you guys may know, I'm uh, $40,000 in the hole. So, um... If anybody's just generous enough to donate even one dollar, um, I'll even put my cash app, you know, in the bio too. Um, you know, I gen genuinely appreciate it. Um, you know, everything helps. And not only did he start to go fund me, but based on what I personally seen, people are actually donating to it. I just want to say shout out to everybody that's been uh, donating to me. Um, Seven thousand a day is like crazy, but I do want to say thank you to everybody that's uh helping me get back on my feet and everything. But another way you can tell that some of these are not fake is by Chase Bank themselves actually releasing a statement. And the statement that they released said, we are aware of this incident and it has been addressed. Regardless of what you see online, depositing a fraudulent check and withdrawing the funds from your account is fraud, plain and simple. So if you know Chase Bank had to release a statement on this, then you know for sure people were doing fraudulent things. Doing fraudulent things is one thing, but then posting it on social media after is definitely not the smartest thing to do. There's literally a video of people celebrating because they think they found some kind of infinite money glitch, but I guess Guess little do they know this is actually a felony since this happened though a spokesperson from chase actually said that this issue has been fixed and this spokesperson also said that there's quite a few people out there with massive negative account balances and or their account is now on hold so you definitely cannot do this anymore and even if you could you definitely should not because literally nothing good ever comes from doing something like this i'm sure almost everybody that participated in this situation are pretty much now sick to their stomach and they don't know what to do next so honestly i would have just avoided any situation like this even begin with because doing something like this can set you back significantly in your life and then you're gonna have to pay for it for years to come and that kind of sucks so don't even put yourself in that situation i'm only making this video in hopes of showing people what not to do with their finances because ladies and gentlemen doing something like this can set you back horribly in your lifetime and you could potentially face jail time as well and i don't think most of you guys want to be in jail man and not even only with chase bank don't do this with any financial institution out there especially navy federal do not do that with navy federal because you might shoot yourself in the foot one day and you just never know when you're gonna need a 
financial institution one day, so don't do it. Like, you might want to get a credit card or a specific loan from a specific financial institution, but if you shot yourself in the foot and you have a bad history, then you're simply just burning bridges and digging a bigger hole for yourself. But let me know what you guys think about this situation in the comments below. Actually, let me know in the comments below if you guys think that specific gentleman that started a GoFundMe deserves the money he's getting because he made a mistake. Let me know what you guys think about that. I would like to know. But if you guys made it to the end of the video, we are at 49,333 subscribers at the time of this recording, so I do appreciate all who watch. I do post weekly videos for those that don't know, and if you guys haven't yet already, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't yet already, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that way you guys get notified every time I ish post a new video. And really quick, on this channel, we talk about personal and business credit, real estate, and other financial related topics, so if that's something you guys are into, then you're probably going to want to consider subscribing. We talk about how to get high limits on your guys' credit cards, talk about a boost your personal credit, how to obtain business credit, we talk about real estate, we talk about mortgage loan programs, we talk about all that, so this is your one-stop shop. And also really quick for those that don't know, I'm a licensed real estate agent and a licensed mortgage loan originator out here in Southern California. So if you guys are looking to buy or sell a home or got any questions in regards to real estate, all my information will always be in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.